What is going on YouTube? This is Trainer Car 100, and you're watching my Saturday Battle video. Be on the lookout for my one year anniversary video on Monday because Monday is August 26th, and that is actually the day that I opened up my YouTube account last year. So look forward to the, a special video. On that, I shall talk about my past and future a little bit about this YouTube channel. So look forward to that and enjoy today's battle video. Today's battle video is going to be against Trainer Shino, one of my Twitter followers. He has a YouTube channel as well, so I'll put that in the description. I start off using my Scyther. It's a weird set. It has Brick Break, like you see right there, Sword Stance, Aerial Ace, and Quick Attack. And it has a Lumberry. So on the first turn, I was actually expecting him to go for Self Ox, which he did. So I went for Sword Stance and then went for Brick Break. Uh, I guess Earthquake would hurt on my Scyther some, but he roars, which is like, ah, uh, no. He, he he served two purposes there. He number one, I don't get Switching Initiative, and uh, Scyther is actually going to take a lot of Stealth Ox damage. Very unfortunate. And expecting him to Earthquake, I'm going to switch into my defensive Slowking, just to dodge the Earthquake. This is actually uh, a classic Scalling, Slowking with Scald as well, and Slack Off and Side Shock. So right there, I was actually expecting him to switch because a water type attack is obvious. I missed my classic on the Munchlax, who is likely carrying the Eevee Light item. Uh, I miss a ton of toxic, of toxic damage right there, which is unfortunate. So right there, he is expecting me to switch. He gets a critical hit, which is not a problem. Slurking can take those all day, hopefully. Um, and so right there, I was like, okay, so what can he do to me? Because I think if he's going to keep going for pursuits, I could be in trouble because, for those who don't know, Pursuit doubles in power when you switch out. So I need to force myself to have him go with a different attack as I switch out. Uh, so, and it's also buying me time with the toxic damage. So, uh, right there, he doesn't go for Pursuit, which is fine by me, but what's not okay is he says switch into Sceptile as I switch out, which is really unfortunate. I wasn't really sure what set Sceptile was carrying. Uh, he's actually Life Orb, and he has Focus Blast. Very interesting as he hits it, because whenever I use the attack, I miss it like 75% of the time. Very unfortunate. And of course, if the opponent is using it, they use it every single time without missing it. Ugh! Alright, so I'm gonna bring in my, my uh, bossy on the Hit Molly, who has the Unburden set with uh, Fake Out plus Normal Gem. He switches into Steelix just to take the Fake Out. I really wanted to get my speed double, second out speed, the Sceptile because. Uh, I think Hitmonlee and Scyther are the only two Pokemon on my team that can outspeed Sceptile. And I thought for sure that the, at the level of HP that he's at, I thought a close combat would take him out, but no dice right there. And he's going to take me out with an Earthquake. Very, very unfortunate, because I would like to take care of Sceptile. That was actually the main initiative. I wasn't really targeting the Steelix, but he had the better end of that deal and was able to switch in to Steelix to take the fake out and then he was able to take me out with a Earthquake because I had minus two modifiers on both of my defenses. But fortunately, I have Karakarun, the Drapion, <laughs> kind of a weird nickname that I can't pronounce. Uh, that has life orbs, so, um, yeah, it has, a uh, Sword Stance, it has, uh, Aqua Tail, Earthquake, and Night Slash. And so I Sword Stance right there thinking, what can he do to me? 
he actually he actually shows me earthquake which is like crap <laughs> so that means I, I could die to my life for a recoil I was like okay can this take it out because I have a plus two but my sniper critical hit comes into play which is awesome and I live with two HP very awesome very awesome you don't get a double down which uh, I like critical hits or no double downs excuse me but I, I, I you don't get it so um, yeah I don't like critical hits guys <laughs> I meant to say double downs but yeah, he switches to the Sceptile, and he goes for a hidden power of some sort, it was neutral, so, and, yes, he missed, he misses the Focus Blast, uh, which is awesome, because had he hit it, uh, I think I would be in a tough situation, because, for one thing, he could kick me out, and you're going to see later on that Buffalant comes into play later with his attacking power. So, we're done with Sceptile, which is kind of weird because, like I said, I was like, we don't have anything for the Sceptile. But it turns out that that miss came into play, I was able to knock him out. So, expecting him to go with a Fire Blast on this uh, Life Orb, Moshe's, on the switch into Slurking, just to take it, because Slurking has great bulk and generator. He goes for Hurricane Misses, and I go for Classic, and I miss as well. I miss another kind of Classic damage. Alright, so, I, I, I guess it, it doesn't really do much, really. He goes for another Hurricane, and wow, that was actually a good amount of damage. It wasn't even a critical hit. That is going to be a tough situation, because... And he's looking alive to take care of Moshe's, because if Moshe's is going to be a problem, uh, I, I could lose the battle. So I need to sacrifice something. So I'm going to switch into General Blade, the Scyther, for Deathfogger. And he goes for Hurricane, but my Scyther dodges it. That is actually important, because... You just see how I deal with his Armoldo, because I don't have anything for Armoldo. It, it has great bulk, it has good attacking power, I don't think my booth lock can't really do much to it. Uh, so I go for Aerial Ace, because I know I cannot speed Armoldo. And that does a good amount of damage. So, uh, he's able to knock me out, which is fine. Uh, that means, I thought low of HP that he's at, I can revenge kill with Buffalant Hornet. This is actually a choice banded uh, Buffalant, so we, need to be choo we have to be careful on what moves we choose. So, at any point he could have switched out into Moshe's, but I guess he wanted to Deathfogger his Armando, or he probably wasn't expecting Earthquake, so uh, I, I don't know. But, he goes for Hurricane and takes out my Buffalant, which is fine. He misses his Fire Blast as I go into Slow King. He has two Pokemon left. He has Moshe's and Tangela left. He does switch out, which I think wasn't really a good play on his part because he could have gone for another Hurricane, but I guess he wanted to make sure that he, well, okay, uh, Hurricane doesn't have the best accuracy, nor does Fire Blast, so I guess he wanted to switch into Tangela, which would make sense, because Grass-type attacks are very strong against Slowking, so expecting him to go with a Grass-type attack, uh, oh wait, no, Buffalo wasn't gone, it was, I withdrew it, so anyway, um, he, he goes for Hidden Power, which I guess he predicted me to switch into Buffalo. He gets a critical hit on the um, on the hidden power. I'm not really sure what hidden power it is. Uh, I think I'll let Sharashino know. But he goes for another hidden power and just he he, he doesn't take care of it. So Buffalo is able to take those hidden powers, which is great. I'm gonna take out this Tangela, and then we can hopefully take care of Moshe, so... 
Uh, I'm going to let Mox or uh, Buffon down right here because he doesn't have that much initiative now because Buffon has very low speed and uh, Moshe is, it has a really powerful move. Plus, the life orb recoil is going to help and the poison is going to help. So, King, let's finish this. You are my best hope here. Can you take a hurricane, please? Oh, so you're going it. Okay, so that's great. Uh, so that means the battle is over. It was a really good match. We had some really good battles lately. And this one is a perfect example of a great match. So if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you like this video. And uh, subscribe to see some more content. There will be a one year anniversary video on Monday, like I said. Look forward to that. And I'll see you guys all later. Bye.